We study the Lagrange, Lagrange multiplier. What is Lagrange multiplier? Uh, in in uh, many practice problem, uh, we all we always need to find the maximum or minimum for function to find the maximum or minimum of function. Uh, for example, that is f x y z. Uh, but there is some constraint subject to constraint uh, g x y z equals zero. How to find the maximum or minimum of f x y z subject to the constraint g x y z equals zero? Uh, for example. Uh, find the uh, the maximum uh, the maximum uh, volume of the rectangular, uh, but there is some there there is a constraint uh, that the the surface area is like a square. How to find the maximum of the maximum volume of the, uh, the rectangular, but the, the surface area is given. For in the, that's practical, pra practical problems with constraint. Uh, if there, if we want to find the maximum or minimum of a function. Subject to a constraint, uh, the the general method is called Lagrange, Lagrange multiplier. What is Lag, Lagrange multiplier? Uh, the the result is that. Uh, First, we uh, if gradient g not zero, gradient g is not zero, then uh, we use the equation gradient f equals uh, lambda gradient g. The lambda is a parameter. Uh, uh, parameter is a parameter. No, not not fixed. And uh, g x y z equals zero. And solve this equation. Find the uh, find the uh, points. Solve this equation. Find some points and uh, uh, subject it to all points. Uh, you compare and compare. All values of x or y of f x or y z, where x or y z uh, satisfy this equation. We call, we call this method uh, as Lagrange multiplier. Actually, uh, this equation uh, is is equivalent to the L, uh, equivalent to that is the function L x y z equals f x y z plus lambda g x y 
c is equal to or we call this function and uh, lx equals ly equals lz equals zero and uh, and uh, gxy uh, and g uh, l lambda equals zero l x equals l y equals l z we use the uh, partial derivative that this the first uh, uh, th this equation actually is gradient f equals lambda gradient g Uh, maybe here we can write as positive uh, and this equation equals g x y z equals zero uh, that's the Lagrange multi Lag Lagrange multiplier then how to uh, there there's a proof We only prove uh, for uh, two variables. The, the three, uh, three variables is the similar. <laughs> so uh, z uh, equals f x y and uh, uh, g x y equals zero. Uh, The constraint constraint g x y equals zero. Uh, because g x y zero because g x y equals zero, uh, then we can write it as y as depends is depends on x so y can be right as y x or it depends on x so y it, um, maybe is a function of x so take the uh, you take the derivative of f x y so d z d x that is partial f partial x uh, plus partial f partial y then d y d x uh, because we want to find the maximum and the minimum so the first derivative should equal zero. Uh, and by the implicit differentiation, dy over dx, that is negative uh, g, uh, gx over gy. So the previous equation equals dz over dx, that is partial f, partial x, plus partial f partial y uh, times negative gx over gy we can write this as fx uh, minus fy times gx over gy should equal zero and we solve this equation that is fx equals fy uh, times gx over gy we divide both sides by gx because the, uh, the, the condition that is for the gradient g non-zero so gx should non-zero so we divide both sides by the gx 
we have fx over gx equals fy over gy. From this equation, we notice that, that the gradient of f is proportional to gradient of g. So if we let this uh, equal lambda, then we got fx equals lambda gx and fy equals lambda gy or gradient f equals lambda gradient g. So if the point, uh, if some any point uh, is maximum or, or minimum cons uh, subject to the constant g x or y equals zero, then the gradient f should equal lambda times gradient g. That is, gradient f is proportional to the gradient g. Uh, for functions of three three variables, uh, the the proof is similar, but should notice that the may Nagrange multiplier may not have maximum or minimum. May not. may not have extreme. Okay, let, let's use the Lagrange multiplier to find the uh, maximum or minimum. A rectangular box. Without a lid, is to be made from twelve square meter of cardboard. And the maximum volume of such books. So the function. that the box is like this. If we let the length is x, the width is y, and the height is z. So the volume is x times y times z. But the constraint that is uh, 2x or uh, that's x y plus two y z uh, plus two x z equals twelve. The the function is the volume and the constraint is the is the surface area. So we use knockdown multiplier. The gradient v equals lambda gradient g, or this we call gx or yz equals 12. That is yz equals 
and great uh, take the derivative for x the y is z equals y plus 2z uh, lambda and uh, uh, x z equals lambda x plus 2z and uh, x y equals lambda and 2 2y plus 2x and x y plus 2yz plus 2xz equals 12. We solve this equation. This equation uh, we, we see that the volume is x, y, z. And the first equation, that the first equation is y, z equals something, x, z equals something, and x, y equals something. So uh, time, we want to uh, you use the uh, Gaussian elimination, like the Gaussian elimination. We uh, multiply both, uh, we change, we want to change the uh, left part will be x, y, z. So the first one times x, that is lambda y times x, so lambda x, y plus 2x, z. And x, y, z equals lambda x, y, plus 2yz and xyz equals lambda uh, 2yz plus 2xz okay So, uh, uh, we uh, okay. So, first, we uh, let this to be the first, the second equation, the third equation. Uh, we the one minus two. That, uh, that that is zero equals uh, lambda uh, two x z minus two y z two x z minus two y z. <laughs> uh, lambda can be cannot be zero. It, if lambda equals zero, that x y z equals zero. Then, then the, the uh, then the volume should be zero. The volume be zero. Volume be zero, then not maximum. Uh, because lambda is not not zero, we got two uh, x z equals two y z. That is x equals y uh, we got x equals y then we subject it to the to the fourth equation this we call this fourth equation so uh, x equals y actually we can get and just if we use second um, minus third, we got zero equals lambda lambda x y minus two x z. So we got still a lambda non zero. We got uh, we divide both sides by x so that y equals 2z. So the 
equation that is x equals y equals 2z. Uh, x equals y, so that is x squared plus uh, 2z equals y, that is y equals x and 2z. that equals 12 subject to the fourth equation so that is 3x squared equals 12 that is x squared equals 4 so we got x equals 2 x equals 2 and uh, z equals uh, x equals 2z so y equals 2 and z equals 1 so the uh, the volume that is 2 times 2 times 1 that is 4 so the maximum um, the maximum volume of this box is 4 let's say lock multiplier 